Good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to 144 from the stars, Tarot. Not meditating on the energy at all. We're just going to dive in together and see what spirit would like you guys to know. Um, as soon as I picked up the deck of cards, I felt the energy of a watery, feminine, emotional, upset. Alright, what's going on? Yeah, I heard in my head Ten of Cups reverse just now when I asked what's going on. And then right after that, Ten of Swords. Oh, wow. Okay, so someone's upset. Someone's coming to terms with the reality of something. We already know that. Okay, what else? Justice. Oh. Oh, no. Someone's upset about justice? <sighs> I can't stand people that are upset with justice. Like, why? The fact that you're upset with justice coming out in the upright shows that you're not an upright kind of individual. And that's how I feel about whoever this person is that's in the Ten of Cups reverse, Ten of Swords energy. Oh no, justice has something to do with the Ace of Pentacles. So someone's upset that you're about to receive. Someone's upset that your justice is you are going to receive abundance. You are going to receive money. For some of you, this might be that like this person is upset because they are witnessing um, you be blessed in other areas of your life. So this could be like spiritual justice, but I'm also absolutely 100% feeling court energy here. But for someone, this... and. and all right, I, I don't even want to say like this is separate because I really don't feel like it's separate. I feel like it, it's two halves of the same reality. All right, so there's a literal court thing going on. So there's literal court ordered justice and you are going to be receiving money and that is your justice. The other aspect of this is this person's also upset because even though you are about to receive this court ruled money, right, for to justice or whatever t had taken place... They have also witnessed you receive that money regardless by other means. So this individual's upset that not only are you getting your good karma back in the court of law and you're receiving your money from this, but they've also witnessed you receive. Like, let's say this person stole, I don't know, fifty to a $100,000 from you, right? And this person witnessed while they were hiding a court case this whole time they were dealing with the court case but they were hiding it because they thought that they were gonna bribe and lie and cheat and steal their way through and maintain the illusion and never tell a soul that they are actually an evil person because they really like to maintain that lie that they live so dearly behind and they believe their own damn lie that's why i can't stand this individual because even if you were to call them out on their shit they're so damn sick they don't realize they're sick they don't realize they're a lie all right, but anyway, so let's say they stole like fifty to one hundred thousand, and then they were dealing with a court case, and part of them was fighting and fearing that you were going to win back the money they stole from you in court. But while they are awaiting that, they're hoping to goodness that ain't that messed up. How can you hope to God that justice don't get served for an innocent individual? That's why in a previous reading, I had gotten triggered when I felt the energy of someone really praying to God for the wrong reasons after a long cycle. And it, it triggered me because I, I felt their plea. I felt their intention. And it was just so sinful. It was so wrong. It was so incorrect in how they approach our divine father and mother. Right. But anyways. So then this person, while waiting, hoping that you don't receive this um, ruling in your favor, then they witness you receive, like, I don't know, maybe you won the lottery. And, uh, like, they witness, like, you win fifty to $100,000 in the lottery. And then they're like, what the hell? And then right after that, they find out, oh, yeah, by the way, the court's going to rule in your favor. And they're going to have to get... So this person's like, no! 
you're not supposed to get more than what I took. And, oh, and this person's mad because, like, I feel like they want revenge. They feel vindictive. Like, they want to get back at you in some kind of way, which is messed up because I really don't see you did anything to this individual. This individual's been attacking you. And now they're mad at you that they have to pay you back and you got compensated for it regardless. They're hurt by this. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Pentacles. Two of Wands reverse. The Star reverse. Oh, shit. Wow. All right. We're going to put that card underneath there, but we know it's there. All right. And the hanged one. Stuck like Chuck. All right. Picking up strong on Virgo, Capricorn, Tur Taurus energy. Um, double confirmation on Virgo. Um, and I want to say double confirmation on Capricorn as well because I feel it. Um, but I already told you from the beginning I felt watery. So while there is the water, there is the earth. This also feels close to home. This feels like... Um, supposedly supposed to be family but they don't actually treat you like family that's kind of what i'm getting well they're upset they're upset not only are they upset because you're getting what they took from you regardless outside of the court of law but then you're getting what they took from you in the court of law so you're getting double servings of bitch you thought and i told you so um and they don't like that um so with the star and the two of wands reverse nothing this person plants will grow. No action this individual takes will be prosperous. No weapon this individual shall, like, it just nothing. This is like, uh, they got turned off by the divine. That's kind of how I feel. I'm almost feeling like their karma is they're turned off. It's like you're cut off now. You no longer have the right to do anything. So they're like losing. So like, this is shit. Oh my God. So they like, they were in a spiritual court with God for a while. Um, and God's already spoken his rulement. Now there's a 3D court as well. Uh, so it's going to materialize and manifest in the 3D as actual charges and crimes being uh, filed. But it's like this individual misused their free will so bad. Their free will now has leashes, chains, and... Like, I, I don't know. They have limitations. It's like they're on restriction now. They're only allowed to do so much with their free will. Like, they, like I'm really feeling the energy of they literally have presences around them guarding them. Keeping them from doing, like, nothing that they try to do, it will be successful. And I don't mean nothing they try to do towards you. I just mean nothing. Nothing at all. Which, that sucks. Like, damn. Like, how far does this go? Do you mean to tell me that they can't even successfully make a pot of coffee for them in the morning? That doesn't even work? Is that their karma? Everything they touch fails? So what? They, like, try to plug in their phone charger and the outlet sparks and the power goes out? And then they go to flip the breaker and the breaker switch rips off the breaker box? <laughs> and then they call the electrician and the electrician's car breaks down on the way? Like, I don't know. Like, this is like back to back to back to back to back. Like, bitch, you thought. Nope. Psych. Uh-uh. Yeet. Nope. Nada. Uh-uh. Sit down. Go by. Adios. You thought. You pissed me off for the last time. I really feel like you've got, like, ancestors dogging this person. Like, messing with... This person's actually like, being haunted as well. Um, some of these are, like things that they brought into this world because of the things that they were messing with trying to attack you and that energy got sent back and they're not as powerful as you so they can't get it out their house right so it's all fun and games to you know Havidi Khadivi and send some demons to a like I don't know people are fucking weird like why y'all doing this shit you should like really just focus on increasing your vibration because there's plenty of this shit around to go for the people that acquire it the right way but they don't want to acquire it the right way. Well, sorry, but we're in a new we're in a new game. There's a new moral to this game, and this game is right is right and wrong is wrong, and it's that simple. Um, there used to be a gray area in the coding of the game, but we've gotten a software update to this whole matrix shit, and um, yeah, this new update 
There's no gray area. It's pretty clear cut. It's either you're in the right or you're in the wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So the other aspect of that is, is they sent energy out towards you. It got sent back because you're stronger than the energy they sent towards you. And they're not strong enough to get it out their house, get it out their life. So they're being tormented by that shit. And then there's also like, uh, for some of you, you have like a grandmother or a grandfather or a father, a mother, like this is um, either like first or second generation paternal kind of figure. So either a father or a grandfather or a mother or a grandmother um, in the spirit world, whooping their ass, fucking with them. Like um, someone literally has not been able to get, so I'm picking up on an earth energy um, specifically, I'm picking up on an earth sign masculine at the moment, but this could be a feminine as well. Actually, yeah, because Diana. Anyways, um, her Lady Diane, her Miss, Miss Diane, I don't know. Okay, um, so this, uh, masculine has not been able to sleep very well. Um, and his physical appearance is depreciating uh like you can actually see that he doesn't look well it's because this um war he fancied himself to be some kind of warlock thinking he knew more about spiritual knowledge than you did this individual mocked you literally mocked you for what you believe in mocked you for your practices like for some of you, this person like straight up attacked you because you watched Tarot or attacked you because you say you're spiritual, but you're not. And this person claims to be religious, but then also claims that the like this person doesn't even know what the fuck he is. It's almost like he has an identity issue. Like he's this when he's around these people, but he's this when he's around these people. Like, which one is it? Do you hate Christians or are you Christian? I'm confused. So this person likes to switch up and put on different masks for other individuals and the sick thing is, this person believes the mask is who he is. So he doesn't even realize that he's got some kind of like personality identity disorder, something going on. I'm, I'm not, this is not a diagnosis and I'm not a medical professional. And even if it was, uh, those kind of things are very hard to treat anyways. So, um... Yeah, this individual tried to be some kind of warlock, and it's, it's depreciating his health. Uh, this is, for some of you, not all of you, because there's new energies now, because the collective has been growing. So I've been feeling out new timelines of you guys have entered the Soul Tribe community. Welcome if you are new. Thank you so much for being here. However, um, for those of you that have been around and I've been following... This is that same masculine that I told you had a health issue and was hiding it. Well, now it's actually becoming visible. You could see it in his face. His face looks sunken in. He doesn't look like he's getting sleep. He looks exhausted, looks sickly, like almost like um, not quite jaundice, but like kind of like, eh, why do you have that weird like hue to you? Are you okay? Are you radioactive? What's going on? You got this weird like, I feel like I shouldn't come near you. Like you might have like a wah, wah, wah going on around you. I don't know. This person, like, almost, like, permeates this, like, sickening ooze in their aura. Like, you can sense it. You can feel it that something's off. This person might literally be dying. Slowly. They might have, like, so they have one thing. There's something they don't know about. This, this individual might find out about another health issue that they are not currently aware of. Um, and this, unfortunately, is karma for the things that they were sending towards you. Okay, but back to the original thing I was trying to bring up. This individual can't fucking sleep. Like, I'm really seeing, like, at 3, at 2, at 4 in the morning, the lights in their bedroom will just cut on and wake him up. Or his phone will go off. Like, phone will go off blaring like it's an uh, um, amber alert. But then when he looks at his phone, there's no notification. Weird shit like that. There's there's forces fucking with the technology around this house. And it's funny because for a lot of you, this is that same individual I've been following on that was using um, some kind of engineering or ties to the government or technological um, skills, right? To try to fuck with you. Um, and now <laughs> your ancestors are using the same thing they tried to use to fuck with you to fuck with them. So, like, alarm clocks going off, 
but not going off. Like the sound going off, but then you click the button and it doesn't stop. And he has to unplug it and he's like, what the hell is going on? This person is experiencing a lot of supernatural shit. But, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. He's so fucking stubborn. He still is denial, in denial, in denial. Will not see that, hello, this is karma. Still, still thinking he knows more, still mocking you. This person's a fool. They, he has no clue that he's killing himself, attacking you, and yet he's still mocking you while he's being haunted, while he's getting messed up by the spirit realm, while he's like literally dying. Slowly, his health is deteriorating. He does not look well, um, like at all. Like uh, if, if I didn't know this individual and I saw them, I would almost think they were using because of how sunken in and like depleted they look. It's like their life is leaving their body. They look gaunt. <sighs> okay. What's next? I was just talking about the man. There he is. There he is with that seven of wands. What about it? <sighs> Literally. It, it, it's messed up because, like, it's he keeps trying to attack your work. Keeps trying to attack your progress. Keeps trying to make it to where, like, you won't be able to go forward. Also, this individual is trying to do weird shit, like, to where... Things that are yours become his. Like, energetically. Like, um, if this, this individual, for some of you, this individual knows that you are like this powerhouse of abundance and blessings. And they have literally witnessed you be able to, like, bring shit into your life. This individual is trying to, like, intercept shit. So, like, your abundance, your light brings in the energy of abundance. And this person's trying to, like, so this person's, like, trying to harvest your light in some kind of way, but it's, um, it's killing him. This person will literally think that he, he successfully has accomplished anything, and the effect that he's seeing is his life force leaving his body. <laughs> he will literally see his life force leave his body and think that is, um, proof that he is successfully harvesting your life force. Whoa. Okay, that's sad. <sighs> Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Prince of Pentacles. All of these are reversed. Oh my gosh. And then here you are, still in your Eight of Pentacles. It's all about your abundance, your energy. This is almost like someone saying they're a skeptic, saying they don't believe in shit, and then literally seeing for their own eyes by example of you, then secretly going back and like trying to use that same truth, that same spiritual law or whatever, to try to manipulate, like, oh wait, maybe there is some truth to it. Well then if that's the case, then I can do it too. And I'm gonna go out in the woods and I'm gonna go, no, no, absolutely not. Um, sir, you're, you're going to kill yourself. You are dying. Like, I don't, how do you not see this? How does this individual not see this? All right, I'm taking these back. Let's see what else needs to come out for you. So anyways, yeah, back to the whole justice thing. People are like upset that you received your justice outside of court. They witnessed it and you're about to receive it in court. So it's like a double, like, uh, like that, that narc rage that just, uh, we've got the lovers out here reversed and then we've got the moon, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, the universe. Oh, wow. Wow. This is a lot of, a lot of big energy. What's going on? Two of swords reverse. Temperance three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? Collective. That's right. All right. So, five of wands. King of wands. Oh, shit. All right. So, they're just like behind the scenes sucking at life and suffering and pretending like they're on top of the world. 
And, um, alright, 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 alright. So, remember how I said earlier that this masculine or feminine, if they sent energy towards you and it got sent back to them, they aren't strong enough to handle it. They aren't strong enough to rebuke it. They can't command it to leave. They can't recognize it. It will consume them slowly. This Someone here specifically tried to attack your love life. Tried to attack your relationships with um, friends, with family, with loved ones, with children. Ain't like, really. Like, yeah. Literally. Trying to fuck up your relationship with your children. Well... What this individual is now dealing with is... I just heard divorce. Oh, wow. So, the, this karma is this person might experience a very painful divorce. Mm. That's weird. I don't like the energy of that either. Because the intentions behind that divorce feel shady. It feels like it's an operation. Like it's a scheme. It's a plot. What the fuck? Why are they always cooking up some weird shit? Why are they always thinking of some weird shit? Alright, so the good thing is, though, they couldn't succeed. Like, they tried to attack your relationships. They tried to attack your love life. They tried to pit your children against you. Like, literally, they tried to make... Like, if you've got younger children, they were trying to specifically make them act horrible, make your life miserable... Like, I don't, they were trying to, like, just cause chaos, cause disruption, make you unhappy, make you unpleasant. They were trying to disrupt your flow. This individual sees that you are in a state of flow. You are, like, in this zen, in this harmony. They see that everything just kind of works out for you, that you're magnetic, that you're abundant, that you're literally, like, magical. You have some kind of supernatural, spiritual kind of, like-esque to you. This individual has actually actually observed you for a long time. Like silently. This is that Virgo kind of energy I'm picking up on again. Very like slow, observant, methodical. And it actually thinks he knows a lot but has been keeping it to himself. So they've been like psychoanalyzing you. They think they've got you figured out in some kind of way. And this person's plan is... This person thinks like um, military strategy. Like he thinks like... Um, like, war, combat, like, I, I don't know. So, he may be, like, a history buff or into military. Or maybe he has, like, a history with being in the military. Uh, but, like, his his thinking is very um, logical and strategic. And, like, the way he, like, plots and schemes is using a lot of the same psychological tactics that, like, the, our government uses. Or the military uses. Or like um, they use in um, prison systems. Like things like fucking with your circadian rhythms. Um, making you feel alone. Making you feel in, like this person was trying to literally cause like psychological warfare with you. They were observing you trying to figure out what makes you tick. How it makes it work. And then try to attack specific areas of your psycho-spiritual um being your body and try to disrupt it disorient it and throw you out of whack so they thought if they could cause disorder and um disconduct and chaos in your home that it would throw you out of balance and if they could throw you out of balance then you wouldn't be able to maintain this like mastery of life where you're manifesting you're drawing shit in you're very powerful they've seen that and if they can do that if they can throw you off kilter so now you're you're wobbling you're not quite in a good um like the difference between a gyroscope and a dreidel that's going round and round and weird. A gyroscope will literally balance on a tip of a pin. And you can twirl that pin around and the gyroscope will stay there. Because it has complete centrifugal force in its center of mass. The law of inertia and stuff like that. But with the, the dreidel that's just kind of spiraling, wobbling around, it's, it's out of balance. It's not wobbling at a true center, a true axis. Um, so its energy is out of alignment. It's out of balance. That's what they were trying to get you in. So then not only would you fail your um, spiritual function, but then they would be able to harvest to take. That's where that whole like, oh, I'm a 
Hi, I'm a, I got my goodie bag here, trick or treat. Can I have their blessings? They're, they're not paying attention, see? They don't even realize all this good energy around them. I'm just going to take a little bit over here. They don't need it. They're too worried about it. That's what this person was thinking. Something about um, you broke some kind of cycle. I, and I think it has to do with like some kind of level of like success or like you recently completed some kind of cycle, some kind of test, some kind of like you've ascended. You've like, I, I, don't, I don't know, you've improved in some kind of way. And when you did, when you elevated to that next level, and you did this recently. When you did that, you broke some kind of cycle. You cut some kind of cords. And now it's like before maybe this person's attacks might have had like mild effect. And maybe you had to return to sender. Maybe you were aware of it. Maybe you saw it. But like now it just literally reverts. Like it, it's like um, I don't want to use the word because it has so many bad connotations. Um, but it just it's. Its whole function is inverted. Uh, every time it tries to go out, the exact opposite is what happened. And the funny thing is, this individual is so, like, gaslighted by themselves. Because it's it's almost like they've got an entity or entities or, like, an energy or, like, a force. A, like a, it's almost like there's an algorithm in their energy. And this algorithm was intelligently put there. And it just kind of like, it, it basically is like, okay, every time karmic does A, it actually equals B. And every time they do B, it actually equals A. And this person has no idea that that is like this um, code that just got put over their quantum engine um, as they compute the reality and push it back out. Um, so this individual is like gaslit by like these trickster spirits into believing that what they're doing is actually working, but it's actually causing the opposite. I.e., that example I gave earlier where this individual saw their life force leave their body and they thought they perceived it the opposite way. They thought that they were receiving the light they were trying to harvest. Yeah, so this person's fooled. Um, and they're, they're like kind of being ran by something. Something's toying with it. Um, there's like this trickster entity that's playing with them. Um, and it's, it's hilarious to this demon. This demon is having the time of its life watching these people make fucking fools of themselves in chaos, in dismay, in pain, in confusion, hurting themselves in confusion. That's what this demon likes. This demon likes seeing them hurt themselves in their own confusion, in their own ignorance, in their own, um illusions right okay so they're not strong enough to beat that demon well thanks bud you're my friend because you're helping out the collective so thank you demon all right <laughs> what else the fool the fool and like honestly the the main thing is the justice is they're just there's nothing they can do. There's really nothing they can do. All they can do is just sit there and rage and hate the fact that they can't do anything about it. They could try, but they're going to destroy themselves. They're literally going to destroy themselves. That man is damn near close to the grave. If he don't stop, he will die. And I don't want that for anyone. Period. I, I, I want any, everyone to find the light, to correct their wrongs, to heal, to ascend. Um, all right, because I mean, ultimately, all right, I don't want to go too deep, but really there is no separation, right? These are still our brothers and sisters, y'all, even though they're your enemies. I know that's a hard pill to swallow, but it's a spiritual truth. All right, so the fool and then the princess of swords, I really feel like the judgment over your life is that you will always have everything you need you will always be in abundance you will always have all resources things are going to work out for you you are free to go you are going to have this new life this new beginning and for a lot of you it involves taking you your family your kids maybe relocating starting a new life if you don't have kids you might be wanting to reload i'm feeling a lot of relocation in this full energy and it's kind of like for some of you you guys might pack light 
you might want when you when you receive this money you might literally just cut ties cut any reason to do anything cut losses and just get the fuck out change your phone number change your emails change everything and don't tell a fucking word and leave the state and for a lot of you that might be exactly what you need to do um it you'll be safer when you do yeah I just heard Granby Street, or Grandy Street, I don't know, that was for someone, very specific. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's really the energy that I'm getting, is that for a lot of you, uh, you guys are going to be relocating. But either way, the, the main judgment, the, what the Most High spoke over your life, right? These individuals think they can speak over your life, but ultimately, it's what the Most High says. It's what the Divine says. The divine spoke over your life collective and said, my child will always have. My child will always be in abundance. My child will always be able to t have what they need, do what they need. They will have everything they need to succeed, to have what they want. And for a lot of you, you aren't asking for fucking much. That's the sad thing. You really aren't asking for much. You're asking for the basic necessities, Any. God given life on earth should have home safety protection food like just the essentials right just to live a fucking life without dealing with the shit without having people trying to do this shit to you without having glasses in your house shatter because oh someone else sent death magic my way I, there goes my my favorite mug or my vase or my coffee cup like whatever <sighs> it's annoying I mean, yes, you're safe. Yes, you know it's going to work out. But, I mean, eventually, like, geez, like, I, I, I feel you. You want to be able to live your life. And the divine wants you to be able to live your life, too. And that's what the judgment that's being called over the situation is. You are supposed to be able to be free to live and have what you choose. Because your intentions are true. There was a spiritual court. Your heart has been weighed. I literally looked at the situation and was like, so what's the problem here? I see my earth angel right here wanting to do this. There's nothing wrong with that. They're not doing anything wrong. It's for the right intentions. What's the problem here? Oh, I see the problem. This motherfucker. Oh, really? So you think you get to say that my earth angel over here who's done nothing wrong and just wants something good for themselves for the right reasons, bless their sweetheart, and you think that... Absolutely not. No. That's where that spiritual judgment, and it's it's appearing in the 3D as well. So you guys are going to be receiving your money, and someone is so upset about that because they've already seen you receive what they take it in other ways. Maybe, like, let's say this person stole from you and then tried to attack you, and then, like, they see um, you end up getting, like, some dream job. Or then you, like, I don't know. This person just witnessed... You receive blessing after blessing, and they kept trying to attack you, kept trying to stop it, kept trying to take it, siphon it, whatever, make it untrue, and they can't, and they can't accept that, and it doesn't matter. I don't care if they can accept it. I don't think you care if they can accept it. Who fucking cares? Just give back what's not theirs and let the collective go, and that's what's going to happen. I don't care. If you don't like what God said, God said so. That's it. It's been spoken. Don't make our Heavenly Father have to speak twice. I've never seen that happen. I don't think I'd live to see that happen. I don't want to. I have enough God-fearing in my heart to know better. Hey, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I'll do what I'm told. Well, that's what these individuals, I, I hope they just do what they're told. Because I, I don't want to see anyone get smited off the earth. But someone is really trying to put themselves in an early grave. Trying to kill you. I'm going to leave this reading here. If you like the way that I read. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you on the next collective message.